Let me tell you guys something. There is a big storm brewing in the luxury real estate market in Miami. And when I say there's a big storm, I mean there's a big storm brewing. So we're gonna be talking about why that is, what's happening, and going over all the data in this video for the luxury real estate market in Miami-Dade today in this video, so keep it locked in. Jake Fletcher here with the Fletcher Group at EXP Realty, your Miami real estate agent. And uh, I gotta say guys, this is, uh, this is a tough one to make because we've been seeing this trend of increased uh, inventory, you know, decreasing sale prices in the luxury real estate market here and uh, things are not getting any better. Let me just put it that way uh, from the start, okay? But a little bit of housekeeping first and foremost, um, I'm now combining the single family home and luxury uh, uh, condo market updates into one video, okay? So luxury single family homes, luxury condos, one video now instead of two. I just noticed that they weren't getting as much views as the other videos and it seemed like maybe it'd be good if I just stick them together and I can drop time codes down below. So if you're interested in the condo market, that's gonna be a little later in the video. So check out those timestamps and that'll help you out uh, moving forward, okay? So we're looking at the luxury real estate market in miami Dade. Like I mentioned, uh, single family homes, the top 10% of the market, aka the luxury market, is uh, going to be above one and a half million. So everything that's over one and a half million for single family homes. And then we're going to be looking at everything that's over one million for condos and townhomes because that's what represents the luxury range uh, for, for that space. Okay. Now, uh, first graph I want to show you guys here is this one, which is inventory. Okay. So active number of listings for single family homes in Miami-Dade came in in October at 1,272. That's up 60 units or 5% month over month, and it's up 10.7% year over year since this point, right? All right. Now, that was 1,149 listings. So from 1,149 to 1,272. Doesn't seem like a crazy big difference, but you know, when we're, we're looking at, um, you know, 1,200 to 1,400, like this kind of range here, you know, that's about 10% of, uh, of the listings, right? <laughs> 1,149, um, to, to 1,272. So, you know, that's a big, big little jump there happening. All right. Now new listings actually hit, uh, that's our blue line there hit 312 up 13 units from September or 4.3% month over month and up 74 units or 31.1% year over year, okay? Now, with active inventory and new listings continuing up, uh, you know, this should lead to a lot of negotiating power and a, even potentially a drop in the median sale price uh, that is more precipitous if this continues long enough, okay? Now, next little graph here is days on market, which actually went down uh, 13 days from September to October's 115 days on market, okay? So that's our green line there, a little down tick there. Nothing crazy, but it is less days on market, all right? Which is interesting considering that we're seeing, uh, you know, more inventory, okay? Now, uh, last October was 102 days on market, and uh, that would be right here. And then the October before that was 79 days on market, okay? So, you know, pretty big difference compared to, uh, you know, this, this month's uh, 115 uh, compared to that 79, which actually the 79 is right there. So from 79 to 115, okay, that's what 36 day difference, okay, days on market. Now close price to original price ratio, that's our blue line there. All that means is that, you know, what's the percentage difference between what a seller originally listed for between what they actually ended up getting for the property. And that came in at 91.1% in October, down 1.2% month over month. And uh, that, that was 92.3% the month before. And then last October was 91.7%, which would have been right here, okay? And uh, that's, a, you know, obviously that's 0.6 higher than what this past month came in, meaning that sellers are, are getting less this year in October for their, you know, compared to their list price than last year, okay? And uh, the October before that was 96.7%. So it's just been year after year, winter after winter of sellers, you know, consecutively getting less and less compared to what their original asking price was, okay? So moving on. We want to look at 
median sale price. Uh, that's our green line there. You can kind of see this like overall downward trajectory, right? Um, you know, and, and we're going to talk about that, okay? <laughs> so median sale price came in at $2.437 million, which is down 232 thousand nine hundred from two point six seven million in September from so from two point six seven right here to two point four three seven over here okay um, last October ra, da, 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 was two point five seven and then October twenty twenty one bam was two point seven nine seven five two two million seven hundred ninety sorry let me start that over 2,797,500, okay. Um, now, the number of sales, which is our little blue line there, actually, uh, you know, we saw an uptick, okay. So 110, up 11 sales from September's 99. That's 11.1% month over month for anyone who's really good at math. And last October's was 95 sales over here. So up 15.8% year over year. October 21, 2021 sales over here were way higher up at 114. So slightly higher than than this October, right? This uh, this would be this October would be 114 versus 110, but significantly higher than 95 sales over here. Okay. So, or no, it would have been right there. Okay. So interesting to note. Now let's look at the last graph for single family homes. Here is months of inventory, which basically just means if no new listings came on the market, how long would it take to sell the existing supply? So months of inventory came in at 12 months of inventory, an entire year, okay? Um, so like normal slash like on the verge of a buyer's market, okay? Uh, everything from one to six months is a seller's market. Uh, I'm sorry, one, one through five is a seller's market. Six through 12 is a normal market. And then over 12 is considered a buyer's market, okay? Um, these are like conventional rules of thumb, okay? Uh, but as you can see, you know, the, this is actually the same as September, okay? Well, it looks like it goes down a little bit, but it's still 12, okay? So it went from 12 in September, stayed 12. Actually looks like it got a little bit lower, but still rounds up to 12, okay? Um, now it's also the same as last October, which was also, dun da da dun 12. However, October of 2021, check this out, that would have been right over somewhere over here. Uh, would have been coming in at uh, seven months of inventory. Would have been this one, right? Would have been October, November, December. So October of 2021 came in at seven months of inventory. Um, so you know, just coming out of uh, you know this crazy uh, buyer's market here, things went all the way down into. Uh, you know, seller's market over this period of time and then back up into a normal market here and things have kind of balanced out, okay? So the good news is that it's like technically normal uh, market conditions. Bad news is that that means that properties are, are sitting way longer, taking way longer to sell, okay? So uh, next up, let's talk about luxury condos. Hey there, and welcome to the luxury condo section of the video. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about uh, the same thing as we did in single family homes, except now for condos. So everything that is over a million dollars in Miami is considered a luxury condo because it represents the top 10% of sales. Now, active number of listings, that's our green line here. You can see it's like going up. Pretty, pretty, you know, steep uh, upward trend there over the last, uh, you know, like second half of this year, basically. Uh, and active listings have gone up month over month to 2,209, which is up 151 units compared to September. Um, you know, that is actually a 7.3% increase from 2,058 to 2,209. And October of 2022 had 1,998. So a year over year increase of inventory of 10.6%, okay? So pretty significant increase in inventory, I would say, all right? Now, next up is our number of new listings. That's our blue line. And new listings came in at 454, up 49 units from September's 405 for a 12.1% increase in new listings. So even bigger increase of new listings than, uh, you know, percentage wise than of the, uh, you know, our number for, 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 um, 
uh, active number of listings, okay? <laughs> I can't talk. Now, the year-over-year uh, -year increase was 21.7%, okay? So if we look at what our new listings was over here, uh, that would have been 373, and uh, we had actually 368 in October of 2021, okay? So steady increase of luxury inventory overall. Um, it doesn't look like a crazy, you know, upward trajectory. It looks pretty modest, but overall these things add up, you know, when you're when you're adding continually more and more inventory every month, every year uh, than you were the months and years previously. Uh, and then you're seeing months of inventory increase uh, for, for all luxury products, as we're gonna see later on for condos, um, you know, we're actually, you actually are going to start to see that, you know, there's way more inventory and they're sitting on the market way more. You're going to see potentially median sale prices coming down a little bit. So that remains to be seen if we're going to see a crazy decrease in, uh, you know, the, the, the median sale price or not. We're going to get to that in a second here. So next up, days on market, we see came in at 205 days on market in October. That's up 29 days month over month. Okay, so pretty significant monthly increase there. Last October was 114 days on market, which is 91 fewer days on market, meaning that now we have a market that has slowed down year over year by 79.8%. Okay, that's a big, 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 big increase in days on market, guys, not to be understated whatsoever. Okay, um, so, you know, oops, let's go back. Uh, we didn't do close price to original price ratio. So days on market up. Okay, close price to original price ratio. What is it? It is the uh, percentage difference of what a seller is asking for originally for their property to what it sold for. So if they were asking for, you know, a million dollars and it sold for nine 900,000, then it sold for 90% uh, close price to original price ratio. Hope that makes sense. Um, and as it happens, close price to original price ratio came in at 90.8% in October, which is our blue line there, came down uh, from 93.8%. Okay, so down a whole 3%, uh, which is, you know, the 93.8 was in September. So close price to ratio, close price to original price ratio, been all over the place over the last year. Um, you know, <laughs> over the last few years, really, it's been all over the place. Um, but you know, if we start to see, uh, you know, the the increase of inventory, the increase of days on market. Uh, continuing, um, then we will see close price to original price ratio decreasing, meaning sellers are going to have to take less than what they want to get for their properties. Okay. And that disparity is going to only increase as, uh, you know, inventory increases and demand remains relatively consistent. You know, the demand for luxury product in Miami is growing, but I often ask myself, is the demand for luxury real estate in Miami growing at at least as fast or faster than the supply? And honestly, the answer is very evidently is no, it's not because we see that, you know, inventory is increasing. We see that, you know, new listings are up 12.1%. Uh, you know, month over month. We see year over year, they're up 21.7%. Um, and that's just for condos, right? So, you know, as we continue to see that inventory increasing, less sales, right? We saw our, uh, you know, number of sales was down. Uh, what was our new sales? Oh, we're going to get to that in a second, but sales are down as well, right? Um, you know, yeah, 16. Sales are down from 118. We're going to get to it, but sales are down, right? All these metrics are showing us that, hey, you know, there might be a point in this luxury condo market where you're able to get some really smoking hot deals because even though luxury sellers tend to um, be less flexible in terms of the price, like percentage wise, it's easier for them to hold on to a bag than say like a blue collar worker who has to sell in order to buy the next place, right? Um, you know, or even like a white collar worker or whatever, like a mid-level, you know, manager, things like that. 
you know, Bucky's manager making 150 grand a year, right? Um, or 160 or whatever that meme was. But the point being that uh, it's easier for luxury sellers to sort of hold on to those properties and try to get what they want for them. But eventually there's a breaking point, right? Eventually they're going to have to cut a deal uh, or just continually lose more and more and more money, right? Um, so that's an individual calculation that each seller has to make. But my, uh, my best guess is that we're going to start to see inventory increasing uh, days on market continuing to eat increase, you know, all these things increasing, then we're going to see close price to original price ratio start to decrease that uh, when we start to see this close price to original price ratio, get back down into this level here into that upper 80s. That's like really time to go shopping as a luxury buyer. Okay, you can get deals right now. But if you want to get like deals deals, I would say maybe wait till the spring market, we will have accumulated even more inventory by that point. And it'll be time to, uh, you know, chop some some, uh, you know, know, close price to original price ratios up. Okay. Now, next up is median sale price and number of sales. Like I was alluding to a second ago and I got ahead of myself, but median sale price came in at 1.67 million, which was up from 1.612 million in September, a difference of 58,000 or 3.6% month over month, okay? So not bad month over month uh, in terms of median sale price. However, you know, keep in mind, um, you know, with less sales, it makes it a little bit less statistically significant, but it's still a measurement that we're taking and observing and putting it in context with everything else, right? Now, year over year, we're actually up from 1.54 million, $130,000 difference or 8.4%, okay? So we see that median sale price, you know, it's kind of been just meandering back and forth, right? It almost seems like just depending on what month you take the measurements, it could seem up or it could seem down depending on what the previous month or the previous year was, right? So um, what it really comes down to in terms of price action in the luxury uh, market, whether it's condos, townhomes, or uh, single family homes is running the comps and being good at it, which is you know my job. And that's what I'm great at is determining what the market value of a property is. And you know there's an art and a science to that it takes uh, a lot of skill and knowledge and experience to be able to do it properly. Um, and you know, there's a lot I can say on that topic. However, the, the main gist of what I'm wanting to say about this is that the most important thing in terms of price action with luxury products is really doing a bang up job of running the comps and figuring out what the market value is, okay? Um, because if you just look at what the, the graph is telling you, what the charts are telling you, you might think, oh, well, median sale prices are, are up this month, right? Or median sale prices are down this month. So that must mean the price should be down. Well, you gotta compare it to you know comparable sales that have sold recently that are very similar to that product. Okay. That's how real estate, residential real estate works. All right. Now, number of sales, that's our blue line here looking like not going in a good direction. <laughs> it came in at 118, which is down 16 sales month over month uh, from September's 134 a decline of 11.9% compared to year over years, uh, 143 over here, 143 sales last October, uh, were actually down 25 sales or 17.5%. Okay. Um, now compared to October of 2021, get ready for this 179 sales, uh, which would be right there, like the low point of this little area, but still much higher than right now. We're down 61 sales or 34.1% from the basically almost the low point of 2021. Um, so, you know, that really says a lot, I would say. Now, last but not least for condos, luxury condos, that is, and townhomes, is months of inventory, which is a measure of how long would it take to sell the existing supply of inventory if no new uh, inventory came onto the market? Um, unfortunately for sellers of uh, luxury condos and townhomes, the months of inventory is 19 months. That's almost two years, okay? And it's up four months since September's 15 months of inventory. So months of inventory is going crazy, okay? Uh, you know, last October was 14 months of inventory. So we're even higher than that. So, you know, we're seeing, uh, you know, the, the months of inventory being affected by the decrease in sales and the increase in 
active listings and new listings, okay? So we can expect to see that trend continue. As long as we're seeing more inventory, we're seeing less sales, you're going to see months of inventory increasing. You're gonna see close price to original price ratio decreasing most likely, um, and that's creating buying opportunities for buyers in this market. If you're a seller in this market, it's never been ever, never, ever, ever been more important to price your property correctly, okay? If you want more information about this, uh, reach out to me. If you need any type of expert uh, real estate assistance in the Miami-Dade area or anywhere in the world, I can connect you with fantastic agents anywhere on planet Earth. Mars, I don't know about, but Planet Earth, I got you covered. And, um, you know, that's that's basically the video, guys. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below. Uh, if you would like to see a specific video about a specific area or topic or something, drop it in the comments. If you think my video is horrible, let me know in the comments. I don't care. Um, <laughs> but if you liked it, definitely give me a thumbs up. And even more appreciated is a subscription. Just hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you don't miss these videos in the future. And I really appreciate Appreciate it, guys. Jake Fletcher here with the Fletcher Group at EXP Realty, your Miami real estate agent, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.